The key to dry aging is starting off with a great animal and trusting that the people who are breaking it down have the end goal in sight of dry aging. Overall, the most important thing is the quality of the protein. Making sure that nothing is penetrating into the meat that you're going to eat is the first most important step. Picking a piece of meat that's large enough to account for the shrinkage that's going to happen during the aging process because you are reducing the water content of the animal. Our largest cut at Born and Raised is a 45 day dry aged tomahawk, similar to an export just with the extension of the rib bone. It's more commonly known as a bone in ribeye, it's just a little more extreme. The breakdown process of a tomahawk is super simple. All you're gonna do is trim off all of the excess hard, unedible, dry, aged meat. You're gonna cut in between each rib bone and make sure that you're trimming all of the fat and any excess meat that could flare up while you're cooking it. I wanna keep the preparation really simple to highlight what we're talking about. So I simply brushed it with a beef tallow butter with herbs and shallots and salted it pretty heavily. We used our custom-made broiler to cook these steaks perfectly. These are big pieces of meat, so it's really important to pay close attention to meat temperatures and cook it properly. This cut is gonna have a lot of subtle nuances from what the cow was eating because of the lower moisture. You're gonna taste earthiness, you're gonna taste maybe hints of blue cheese and peppercorn, all of the things that are just concentrated from the dry aging process. It really is something you have to try. This is our 60-day dry-aged porterhouse. A porterhouse is a section of the short loin that includes the tenderloin as well as the New York strip. This cut is cool because you get two different flavor profiles in one steak. On one side you have the filet and on the other side you have the New York. The filet is going to be a leaner piece of meat when the New York is going to have more marbling and a little bit more flavor. I wanted to keep it really simple by brushing it with some beef tallow butter, salting it, and grilling it to perfection. I love this cut because it's an indecisive person's best friend. You get two steaks in one. A classic pairing with this cut is Bordelaise sauce. It adds a super rich, meaty flavor with a nice acidity from the Bordeaux wine. This is a 60-day dry-aged New York. I trim all of the excess fat and dry trimming, as well as cutting off the rest of the bone from the short loin. This is one of the most flavorful cuts of meat. High marbling with a really nice texture. I love the funk on a New York strip because it really picks up a lot of the blue cheese notes. I paired this with the green peppercorn sauce to add an earthy and herbaceous note. This New York strip is at its prime and the perfect time to enjoy.